Brooklyn Independent Television. Now in its 40th year, the Billy Holiday Theater was founded in 1972 in order to bring brilliant theater to the community of Bedford-Stuyvesant and to give writers, directors, and actors an opportunity to hone their skills. Such brilliant actors as John Amos, Debbie Allen, Samuel L. Jackson have all graced the stage in order to make Billy Holiday Theater one of the most well-renowned theaters in the United States. My name's Marjorie Moon, and I'm the executive director of Billy Holiday Theater. And as the producer for Billy Holiday Theater, I select the plays that we do, contract with playwrights, directors, the actors, essentially make it happen with an incredible crew. And then we go into the rehearsal process, and essentially uh, three weeks is what we do, and get the show up, and the audiences come in. Um, that is. <laughs> I'm playing in the role as Uncle Pat in the uh, play The Waiting Room. He's a character. He knows a lot about uh, everybody's family tree and is not afraid to tell it. I don't wear no cologne that don't come from the Piggly Wiggly all over my body. Oh, sugar! I like that! The show we're producing right now is written by Sam Mark Williams. You know, he was nominated for a Tony for Home. And he was just here a couple of weeks ago to watch the show. And Sam has a resume that goes on forever and ever. Executive producer of the Fresh Prince, executive producer of Martin. Marjorie picked this show to open. It's a comedy, a feel-good Southern drama. She always focuses on what her audiences are looking for. When I was growing up, my mom brought me to a play here. It was Your Aunt's Too Short, The Box of God. And then I received an email about this play, and I told my husband that it would be interesting. So today is our anniversary, so we decided to come out and celebrate. My name is Peggy Alston. I'm one of the founding members of the company here. I also grew up in the community. It's been a part of my life since I can remember. My first production was Empire and the Dentist. As children growing up, we were always told, you're disadvantaged, you're underprivileged, you're this, you're that. Everything that happened here at the theater talked about our promise as a people. From the very beginning, there was a richness in the community that we were aware of always, but restoration helped underscore that. Bedford-Stuyvesant Restoration Corporation is the founding corporation for the theater. People have wanted me to defend the name. She was a brilliant artist. And so I say that her life might have been very different if she'd gotten the kind of support that she needs. So here we are supporting wonderful artists, and we're going to give them that support and development that they need. I love to point out to Sheena Arnold, who was a part of our bubblegum players. That was our children's company back in the early 80s. To Sheena Arnold, of course, plays the mom, and everybody hates Chris. And she was the best friend of the girlfriend in Martin. And she started right here at the Billy Holiday Theater. Samuel Jackson came up from Atlanta, Georgia, and his first professional plays were right here at the Billy Holiday Theater. He said, I can do anything in the theater. Just give me a chance. We gave him that chance. Don Amos and Ralph Carter from Good Times, they had their reunion right here in 1990 in, in a play called The Past is the Past. Debbie Allen had already done her Broadway debut in the musical Raisin, but she was out of work. So she had an eight-week stint here at the Billy Holiday Theater in a musical called Music Magic. It also starred unknown talents Alex Briley and Victor Willis, who were members of the village people. The theater is a training ground for so many actors. I mean, the, the big names, you know. What it really serves as a training ground for new actors and, and a lot of older actors who come back. What the Billy Holiday Theater means to me is family. They've embraced me in a way that I, I never would have dreamed. This is my training ground, and that's why I'm still here trying to give back and work with new artists because it's a great place to learn and grow. How does one quantify 40 years? It's a testament to the work that we do and to our fabulous, wonderful audiences that support us. I met some people who saw shows 40 years ago and they are very proud of the theater. They're very proud to have it here. And there's still some people who don't know that it's here. You know, they know Restoration Plaza, but they don't know about the Billy Holiday Theater, but um, it's, it's exciting. This is the first time I've been in a long time, but it won't be my last. I'm gonna definitely be looking out for some upcoming plays.
Ten years from now, I'd like to see first the Billie Holiday still here, and I hope there are plays being produced all over the country by African American playwrights who had their first show produced here at the Billie Holiday. I'd like to think that what we do here at the Billie Holiday Theater has a spiritual connection with our audiences. I'm really kind of grateful. It deals with the heart. It deals with what's real. That makes them want to come back, and I think that's what sustains us. Become a fan on Facebook, like Brooklyn Independent Television.